this is the end result of gee, maybe five months of work, if not more, maybe a year. I've taken a pre-existing remote control car and modified it so that it could be controlled by a Raspberry Pi. And I had to add an Arduino as well. What it features is I have four sonar sensors that give me distances so that I can tell if it gets within five centimeters to stop moving. Something's in the way. I have one in the front, left, right side, and the back. So I had to make my own boards for certain things. This is just four LEDs that manage your battery of the Arduino. I have some emergency buttons. This one tells the Raspberry Pi to shut down. And then I have another button over here. It's plugged into, this is a Raspberry Pi 2 by the way. It's plugged into here for the run so that once it's shut down I can start it up again. This is a simple power switch. I have too much wire so I just melt it up. Uh, let's see. This is a battery pack I took out of a cell phone charger. And this is a Adafruit battery pack. And it's the little thing that powers Raspberry Pi. So on the remote control, this was in a gun-like shaped plastic that I've taken apart and found that I can power the, power the board on 3.3 volts. So I actually had the Pi turn on and off the control. And then these two tell the remote, if the green is at the ground, it'll go backwards. If the white is, into the, is plugged to ground, it will make, tell it to send it to go forward. This is the H bridge that controls the board of reverse. And one of the chips died and I had to replace it. Luckily I had a replacement. These are not used because these were originally for a different RC car uh, for the turning. Now this one has a different setup. I had to create a voltage divider so that, and then some programming so that the Arduino would know what the current status of the wheels, if it was left, middle, or right. And it has its own battery. Battery pack. I'm using a uh, energy shield. So there's the Arduino Uno, the battery pack, and then my special board. I uh, made this myself. Since it's only, um, it is the H-Bridge that controls the, the tires. And as I'm only using, I've already sold them to the first uh, set, you know, seven pins. And it communicates with the Raspberry Pi through I squared C. And I, um, so the, Arduino, the Raspberry Pi can send a command saying, is there to the left of me or is there something to the, you know, in front of me? And it can also communicate with the battery. Um, the battery also I squared C. So I'm able to determine the battery um, percentage of the Arduino battery. On this, there are two screws that I'm able to connect to. The front part is just loose. It's just resting. So everything about this is on those two screws. I was able to use Lego to connect so that Arduino is screwed into this plastic board that's in between the Legos. I have this Raspberry Pi camera that I'm going to plug in right here and then I'll be able to record video as the car moves. So what I have it do 
is it reads in a simple text file from this USB flash stick that has two numbers. The first one tells it direction to go, and the second number tells it the duration in seconds, or milliseconds. So that green light tells me the RC car is turned on, and I have the Arduino just flash pin 13, the LED, so I can know that it's running. If it wasn't blinking, something was wrong. So let's turn this on, see what happens.